All right, so now that I have everything installed as to how the factory manual said and the bike ran, now I've got to fine tune and adjust everything. So what we're going to do or what I've done already is I've adjusted this here. I loosened this up and I put less tension. I slacked off this cable. This is my throttle pull cable. And what I did in order to take some stress off this cable is I loosened this bolt up and I took this nut with an 8 and I screwed it down about 10 turns and then I tightened it back off again. Coming over to the other carb, because we're set up here already, I found the same cable for the other carburetor, which is right here, and I loosened this nut up, and I did the same thing with this cable, and I brought it down 10 turns, and then I tightened it off again here. Then I did the same thing with this cable here. This is my throttle return cable. I loosen this one off and I tighten this down about 10 turns also and then I locked it off. And then what I did is I checked to make sure that my synchronization when I pull my throttle, both carbs open up at the same time and close at the same time and they're not impeded or anything because they will get stiff if the cables aren't adjusted properly so if your cables are stiff we'll see if we can figure that out right now so I loosened all three of those cables 10 turns locked them down and I tested my throttle to make sure that both carbs are opening and closing at the same time and they're not impeded and they're not hindered and there's the same slack between the two throttle cables and that's what I did the reason why I did that is because when I installed this stuff I had uh, these two connectors that come off the shifter screwed in all the way here and here. So this action here when I open and let it go everything is synchronized and works perfect. Okay. This is the play that we're gonna work with now. This is where we want to tighten and adjust our cables. Everything is synchronized, so now we want to loosen or adjust this play here. We do that with these. We'll open it a little bit, 10 turns or so. We'll do the same with both at the same time. And we'll test it again. You see how that's tightened up a bit? And you want to keep doing that until you still want to have play then you want to slack it off a little bit you want to make sure that it's free and clear of any interruption you only want about a millimeter movement millimeter and a half movement here but the most important thing is that your throttle response open is smooth and forceful you have to force it open and when you let go it snaps back hard. Now to finalize and test this and lock it down you have to sit on your bike stand it up and test it while it's sitting proper. You gotta turn your handlebars out all the way and then open and close your throttle and then do the same with the other side and open and close your throttle and it should all be smooth 
exactly the way. If your cables aren't set up properly, when you turn it one way, it'll open nice, but it'll close slow, or it won't close at all. If you're making a hard right or a hard left turn, your throttle might stay open all the time when you're making a turn and dump your bike, spins your back tire out. So it's very important after you get where you think it should be, do that test and adjust accordingly so everything is smooth when you do that range of motion all the way lock to lock. And that's how you adjust your throttle response.